Outstanding treatment in the group, in, in our minds, is simply any patient that comes to your practice, you tell them they need something, whether it be a crown, Invisalign, whatever it is, doesn't matter, and they don't buy. How you improve your follow-up procedures to get those people back through the door. An interesting statistic for you is that the average dental practice that has been in business for five years has more than $2 million of outstanding treatment just sitting in the charts. And you can kind of run through the numbers in your head. I mean, that's a big number. But if you start you know, thinking about what you're, what you're prescribing daily, you know, the, the numbers start adding up. And what if every month you could capture 10% of that or even 5% of that? And then every year, if you capture 10, 15% of that, what it will do for your practice. And every business needs outstanding treatment, meaning I'll give a real life example. My wife and I are driving in the car the other day. I was actually taking a shoe of mine to what they call the shoe hospital here in Houston. And I was hoping they could save the shoe's life. They, they couldn't. I had to, throw, had to throw the shoe away. My neighbor's German shepherd decided to eat it and uh, couldn't save it. Anyway, on the way there, we get a phone call from the shower company. And my wife and I had a shower company out to our house to look at remodeling our shower. And, you know, they gave us, you know, the reasons why we needed to, what they could do for us. They gave us the price quote. And my wife and I said, well, let's think about it. And they left. And a couple weeks went by. And again, driving to this, this shoe hospital I was just telling you about. And they called and they asked how, you know, our experience was with them. You know, did we like the rep that was out there and if we were ready to move forward. And, you know, I told the person on the phone that my wife and I needed to think about it more and hung up. And I turned to my wife and I say, you know, it's amazing. Actually, what I asked her was, is I said, Kristen, do you know what they call that in dentistry? And she goes, no, I don't. I said, that's outstanding treatment. It's the same exact thing is what we're teaching inside dental practices is what that shower company just did. It's the follow-up procedure to people who did not buy. And it's not always just to get them to buy. It's to find out how their experience was. It's to improve the overall customer satisfaction simply by a simple phone call saying, you know, did you enjoy your experience? Did we treat you right? Did everything go well? Is there anything we can improve on? And just that, just that alone improves the chances they're going to come back and buy from you because they're impressed that they even received the phone call. So I was talking to Chris, I was like, you know, it's amazing everything we do in dentistry, how much of it relates and you could pick it up and put it to any other type of business. And outstanding treatment is one of the biggest ones because every business needs a follow-up method to get people back through the doors. So that's what this series of videos is going to be. We're going to teach you our protocols, teach you how to implement it into your practice, who to put in charge. Uh, and then when we get to the telephone training down the road, one part of the telephone training is going to include how the telephone call goes because you know a lot of people are worried about the new patient telephone call. We've got to get those new patients, but what's overlooked is the importance of all your outbound calls as well. You know, you're you're trying to schedule more people for hygiene, which is your recare calls. How is the verbiage on those calls? What's being said? What shouldn't be said? Same way with outstanding treatment. So we'll get to that shortly. So really pay attention to these videos because, and 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 I'll, I'll reiterate it again. One of the biggest things we get from team members is there's not enough time. And, you know, whatever your follow-up, if you have one, whatever your follow-up procedure is right now, it's usually dependent on whether or not you have enough time during that particular day. Is the schedule filled? Is it not? So on and so forth. The goal is going to be, and we're going to talk about it in these other videos, is no matter what the schedule looks like, you having defined times to make the calls because they're absolutely critical. We're going to teach you how to do it as well. 